Gamer 7 and welcome back to another video here on the channel. We are back with some more Pokemon to cast creations. Today we are going to be working on the last of the gen starters for me to do, which is or gen 8 starters, I didn't say which gen. Um, which is Score Bunny, which if you watched my Sobble and Grokey ones, you know Score Bunny's not exactly my favorite starter, but hey! It's not that they're not a bad starter, it's just I wasn't as interested in them comparatively to the other two, especially when you compare all the evolutions. It's just not as interesting to me for some reason. But, so, I, I know there are people who do really like Score Bunny, but, so don't take any offense, just my person, personally, I, I like Sable the best, then Grokey, then Score Bunny. Now, there's still other Pokemon that I like Score Bunny better than them, so Score Bunny's not like my worst Pokemon out of all 180, 80, 800 and some, whatever. <laughs> it's 800 and some, I just don't know the exact number. But yeah, anyway, so we are working on Score Bunny today, and I did, I actually mentioned in Grokey's video, and I think I even mentioned in Sobble's, that I actually was deciding to do Grokey and Score Bunny as male. It's partially because I don't actually use, um, I don't actually make male sims as often even when I do this Pokemon the cast thing, just because I have more stuff for the female sims, more custom creators, and even the sims themselves, when you get packs, there is more stuff made for the females over the males. So even if I wasn't doing custom content, there would still be more options for the females. But yeah, so I just tend to have more stuff for the females than I do the males. So a lot of times I'm more excited to do females than I am males. But at the same time, I do want to try to, in the series, I want to try to challenge myself sometimes and actually do stuff that I normally wouldn't do or try hairstyles or clothing that I normally wouldn't do to try to challenge myself but also try to get a sense of that Pokemon in a way even though I might not necessarily use that style so much it fits for that Pokemon I will say when it came to the hair I did sometimes struggle a bit I didn't even though like he's got like the little hair on his side and he's got these long ears and in some way you almost would maybe want long hair to represent his long ears. I was mainly looking at short haired options or at least options that if it was long hair it was like up in some sort of bun or something. Because of the fact that Score Bunny is actually like based off of like soccer or football depending on where you live in the world. Most people call it football. I live in the country that's weird and we decided to call it soccer. <laughs> but um... Is that's more of the influence of Score Bunny. So I did want a more athletic sim, and realistically, having long hair with doing athletics and stuff isn't always like. Obviously, a lot of athletes actually do have long hair, but at the same time, it's more annoying if you have long hair because you have to like put it up in certain ways or do stuff with it versus short hair. Usually, you could just not worry about it so I was trying to go for more shorter hairstyles for that reason I also was like one of the things when I first like pulled up the picture of score bunny to compare it to when I started on the sim I immediately remembered that there was like this band-aid thing that I had in the like skin details and I got excited because score bunny's got that patch across his nose and I'm not 100% sure about this but to me that translate to a, a band-aid which makes sense because in sports you can easily hurt yourself and bra breaking noses is something that I feel like happens probably quite often so <laughs> the fact or like just hurting your nose in general so I immediately put <laughs> I was like yes I'm using that band-aid which honestly putting the band-aid on his face sort of made him a little bit more cuter out of the three starters he's like the least cute face when it comes to the sim but he's still got some cuteness in his face but not nearly as much as the other two in my opinion but the band-aid sort of helps just this is no band-aid on his nose with his hair back to his hair though uh, <laughs> one of the things I did struggle with was the color because score bunny is a white bunny like fur white like bleach white and has the little orange on the tips of his ears and on his toes, which you should be seeing a picture of him down in the left corner there. But just just in general, I'm just saying. 
So I wanted to try to get his hair as close to that orange as possible, and realistically, in Sims, that's not. There's not many red hair options <laughs> in general, and to make them also lot, not look weird, because I think I have a few hairstyles that get some of those bright colors, but it's just meh. So I did go with this hair that you see on him now that is a red hair, and it is more of a natural red versus the red that is on, well, technically that's orange on Score Bunny, but you get what I'm saying. In hair terms, that would be considered on in the red spectrum. That's the hair I chose, and I do really like that hair. And when it came to his outfit, I think at first I was going to go with this because I was like, I'm going to give him all white clothes. To try to and try to maybe cover up more of a skin with the white clothes just because score bunny literally is a bunch of white uh and the necklace that i went with was like an orangish color um i think it was meant to be like somewhere close to like copper or rose gold more towards copper but you know what i'm saying but he has that orange thing around his neck so that was why but and the clothes wasn't speak i got to like the shoes and it wasn't speaking to me <laughs> and also Trying to find orange shoes wasn't as easy either, but I wanted him to look like, you know, he was athletic, but this was like, he's still athletic, but this is in like his like more daily life. Like, you know, he's not, not heading straight for the, the field right now. He's just walking around, but he's known to be an athletic person. So I wanted him to like have like casual or more dressed up clothes, but also not look too dressy because that's just not how I was picturing his style so like I kept moving around with the pants but then I realized it was the shirt that was really really like I was like eh need to fool around the shirt a bit so I think I end up giving uh, yeah I end up giving him his tank top like shirt that actually like it still looks nice but it also gives more of that casual athletic feel even to the everyday wear and I gave him a watch because again like I just I don't know or, like, I, and all, there was a weird thing happening when I was making him, I think, actually. It happened with a few of my Sims. It wouldn't let me put a bracelet or a wrist option on both, which was really weird. But anyway, so that is Score Bunny. I will say, just because he wasn't my favorite, I, I wasn't, like, as excited to get to do his Sim, which I know sounds bad, but compared to the other two, I was like, okay, let's get store, Score Bunny, let's just get him done. Um... But I do think he really turned out well, and I really do like how he turned out. And I hope you do as well. If so, please hit that lovely like button, and make sure you're subscribed and hit the little notification bell so that you are aware of any other videos that go live. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on Score Bunny here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!